It's Visual Journal Friday. If you'd like to know more about visual journaling, what it is, how it's different than keeping a regular sketchbook, how I use it with my students, how I think it could be helpful for you as an artist to grow, then check out my in more in-depth description in episode one of the Visual Journal Friday series. Also, you can check out my blog post where I go into a lot of detail about it. I will have that link in the description below. Hello and welcome to another edition of Visual Journal Friday. Woo! This is book number 10. Uh, the cover has a lot going on. There's like a Keith Haring picture, some, some acrylic paint layered on here with a palette knife. There's a patch, an old patch from my grandma that I colored in because the red was too bright. There's some paint pen going on on the cover below all the layers. The back also has some palette knife painting on it and a little bit of glitter. The cover was falling off, so there's some packaging tape holding it together. So this is the inside cover. I always like to put my kids' school pictures in there, especially now that Nayeli's in school. This was her kindergarten class picture, and that is actually from her pre-K. So that, she was four there, she's five there. And Liam, he was in fourth grade. So we got a drawing of a T-Rex with an apron and muffin pan. I think I saw a image, like a toy dressed up in such a way online, and I thought it would be fun to draw it. There's the Beastie Boys, some paint swatches. Oh, and this sweet little thing that I found from my son one time. He says, how to be a ninja. Be nature. Use nature. Follow nature. Be darkness. Do not be seen. I thought that was really profound in a cool way. He also was really into bananas. And that's my school picture for the year. And a rose. We got mountains, trees, and waves. This is me trying to incorporate that bullet journaling process into my visual journal because the bullet journal itself was not working to have it separate. So there's some calendar stuff going on, pretty boring. I uh, worked on someone's album art for their band Upland Drive one summer. Also, their other band. So this is just more of that, me writing down some music notes, history of hip hop, bands that I like at the time. I was doing alcohol inks and I had my art in a show to benefit the school system. And this was an article in our local magazine about it. So it's just some stream of consciousness writing, a blind contour drawing, calendar stuff, a little card from my friend's photography show. And this is more album art that I was working on for Upland Drive. Still same album art. Same album art. same album art. This is that same art show. This was just a program for it. And more of the same album art. More of the same album art. I redrew it a bunch of times. Definitely got better. Um, I don't need to get into all the other stuff. This is another band the same acquaintance had me work on his second band, Sirius B, and so this has a completely different feel and was another album that I did art for his band. That is not it. 
That is just some collage stuff on top of some calendar stuff. This is for that Serious Beat album. This was going to be a poster. I don't think it ever came to fruition. Collage, calendar, blah, blah, blah. This was an initial blueprint by the first architects that were going to work on our school. Uh, they were fired and now we have new architects. Um, hence the angry people because there was a lot of conflict between them, between the county commissioners, between our school, between the community. It was a really contentious time, but we finally got an agreement and our school is going to be under construction in about a year. This is more of the Serious B artwork. This, was, this ended up being the cover of the album. And then uh, someone at my jujitsu school suggested that I make some sort of graffiti art to go on the wall. Um, so I worked on that, but I don't think that the owner, the professor, actually was that into the idea. It never really came to fruition. This is, this is the fold-out art for the uh, Series B album, so there would be text overlaid on top of that. Also, the solar eclipse. Remember that? That happened this summer, this, the summer that I was working on this. <clears throat> More calendar stuff. This is just a really cute dragon that I wanted to draw. At the time, my son and I were reading Lord of the Rings, and um, he was getting into, what's that game called? Dungeons, he was getting into Dungeons and Dragons, and I also was listening to Chance the Rapper, and this is some lyrics from him. Uh, this is a demonstration for how to paint forms for my art class. There's Gollum. Don't be mad because I'm doing better than... Sorry, that that's uh, Childish Gambino lyrics. Don't be mad because I'm doing me better than you do and you. Lord of the Rings mind map of the history and timeline because it's a pretty elaborate universe and I was trying to get my head around it and thinking about maybe reading the Silmarillion Sil Silmarillion because um, I wondered if maybe that would be interesting I never did read it but I read the Lord of the Rings series um, or calendar so yeah I don't know I mean this calendar seems to have taken over this visual journal I just can't find happy medium I want to use my visual journal as a way to keep track of my day-to-day -day tasks so I have one book but these pages are awful and I intend to go back and art on them but then sometimes I don't that is the golden mean or Fibonacci spiral as some people refer to it you should look it up if you don't know what that is. More calendar stuff. And this is me working with the Fibonacci spiral in a portrait. So the focus comes around her hair and then around her jawline and across her eyes and back to her eye. More. See, I said this is not working because I probably wasn't being very good about mapping out my weeks, as well as it was taking up my visual journal. Neither one was working well. Um, watercolor. Also starting to do like a grid portrait. Never finished it. The Ents. I loved that part in The Lord of the Rings with the ants, walking trees, 
it's just such a lovely idea that the trees are these living beings that are ancient and wise and know so much more than we do about the earth and what it needs to be healthy. And then there's a quote from Neil deGrasse Tyson, because he's awesome. Don't base your beliefs on one paper or one study because measurement is not perfect. If you measure nothing, you will alternate between a slightly positive and slightly negative result. Beliefs should be based on repeatable, clearly positive or clearly negative results. Basic scientific theory right there. Uh, then I decided I wanted to draw cute animals sticking their nose in the lens of cameras. So I did that several times. There's a cow and a horse and that's a lion. And then I did a picture of myself doing a triangle on my friend Nathan. And there's some optical illusion. And just some, I, I really liked this one panel that I bought from this company, Ampersand, so I think I just glued this in here so I would remember about it. But I have moved on to canvases with my acrylic pours. This is when I was first learning about acrylic pouring. So I was working out my, my recipe talking about Mod Podge, Liquitex, Floetrol, GAC 800, rubbing alcohol, golden fluid acrylics, wood panels, not canvas, how to do a dirty pour with the density on the bottom. There's an initial recipe, three parts Floetrol, one part paint, one part alcohol. <clears throat> that is not the recipe I use anymore. Shopping list with all the things I needed to buy. More notes about acrylic pouring, density, different types of golden paint. Pretty interesting to go back and look at my initial notes. And then we have some notes on color theory because I was trying to figure out how few paints I could buy to make up the color wheel so that I could mix my own colors rather than buying a whole bunch of colors. Um, <clears throat> this is uh, like an MSDS sheet for East Coast resin, which was one of the first resins I used. I don't do a lot of resin anymore because I started getting these really mysterious hives about the time that I got really heavy into resin, and so I quit doing it. Just sort of figuring out the cost of getting started, the sales I was making with some of my art. This is me and my daughter doing art together. I did this page, she did this page. We were painting. And that's some paint. Some doodles. I don't know why that's in there. It makes me mad. I want to cover it up. I must have found it in my room and just threw it on there. I am not a fan of name brand things and I would never like just randomly promote a company, especially an overpriced company like that. More drawings. This was an art show that I had art in in the spring of this year. Doodles, more notes on acrylic pouring. I had uh, someone locally reach out and want me to do a workshop, and so I was trying to figure out how I could purchase things in bulk and which would be more affordable and what I would need to charge for the class in order to make a profit. That is a printmaking project that one of my students did on a scrap piece of paper towel and I just stuck it in there. And my son drew a carrot. I have applied to this golden residency two summers, two years in a row, and I haven't made it either one. One of these days I'll make it in. They'll accept me. It's a two week residency up in New York at Golden Paint Headquarters and you get to just paint and tour their factory and it's awesome and I hope to make it in one day. Watercolor techniques that I was teaching my students, some printmaking, so oh so we did Wizard of Oz this year for our senior play this past year and these were drawings of the of the set piece, some of the set pieces. That is a print that another student did on paper towel that I stuck in here and then I drew a drawing around it.
and that says Ka. And these are the golden reference sheets about their, their densities and such specific gravities of their pigments. It is very useful if you don't want to use silicone to know the density of the pigments because if you layer a dense pigment on top of a not so dense pigment, then it falls through and it creates the cells without using silicone. I'm a fan. Golden is one of the only companies that actually provides that information though. And these are some newspaper notes about a rally we had for education and um, school class sizes and such things. And that's me and my friend Todd. And that's the son of a fellow teacher here at the school. And just fighting for our students and for ourselves. Trying to get some funding for our schools. So um, this is when I got sick with the hives and I was writing down stuff for my doctor and um, taking some classes on nutrition and also like what things to try, what, what the possible causes could have been. Oh, I think, oh, this is Nayeli when she was first learning to write and read. She says, I love to read, I love chapter books. My first chapter book was Judy Moody. She was in a mood. It was very funny. Judy was a little, has a little brother named Stink, and so on. And this is my son drawing the Avengers. He loves Loki. There's Spider-Man. Uh, Hawkeye? And Poop. Because, you know, he's 10. He was 10 at the time. And 10-year-olds like potty jokes. More calendars. And their lovely pictures. That's the end. This is when my son and I were learning magic. So yeah, that's the end. There was a little bit of drawing and art in there, but it, it felt more like a an arted on planner, didn't it? This year was a little weak and no excuses. I mean, I wasn't working on another visual journal on the side, a tiny tradable or anything. I didn't have a bullet journal that was distracting me. It just, I don't know. I think I will say that Acrylic pouring really took off this year and it has fascinated me and it has distracted me from doing more sketchbooky art. So that's, that's all I gotta say about that. Until next time, see ya. Let me know what you think in the comments. Like and subscribe. Click the bell icon in order to get more notifications. And don't forget to check out my paintings and my merch like this shirt on seaholesharart.com. Bye.